Hello and welcome back. I'm your friendly neighborhood technician. Today uh, I'm going to show you how to wire up a modern fuse box slash relay box uh, that we're going to put in place of a one of the old style uh, fuse, fuse panels with the little ceramic relay so we're not going to use that anymore and plus I'm adding relays to control other um, higher current components like the starter, the fuel pump, and uh, the uh, oil cooler fan. So we're going to show you how to wire that up. Now this uh, is going to be on a Volkswagen, but the wiring is going to be the same for any car. So it, I'm, I'm not going to really show you anything specific to the Volkswagen, but I'm going to show you how to wire up one, one of these panels. So if you wanted to uh, use one of these on your vehicle, you uh, would be able to do that. All right, here's the fuse box that I got off Amazon, and it's going to be using the standard four-prong Bosch relay. So uh, and a lot of these relays are all going to be the same. So even if you have another relay that's not Bosch or it's in the Bosch style, like this is a five-pin, uh, it's going to be very similar, but this one has 87 and 87A. That's why it has that fifth terminal right there in the middle. But uh, basically how this works is I've simplified it right here, and here's the actual piece of paper that came with it. So uh, to put these in simple terms, the yellow wires, they're gonna be right here. That's gonna be the current wire that's gonna go to your component that you're trying to control. So uh, like say this is gonna be the starter, this is actually gonna go to the starter signal wire and then uh, that we're trying to control with the relay and or the fuel pump or the electric fan for the oil cooler. And your red, like you have right here, that's gonna be your hot at all times wires. So uh, you're gonna have um, voltage come in here. So you're going to have voltage this all the time. It's not going to drain the battery because you're not going to be using the voltage all the time because you're still going to have the switch components uh, for that, um, um, for these that are only uh, getting po power when the key's on. So uh, like the f starter, the fuel pump, and the fan. And then the blue wires are ground, you can see, or the black wire, sorry, black wire right there is the ground, the one single black wire that on the bottom of this. You can see right here that the black is they're all they're all jumped jump to that one, jump to that one, jump to that one. So they're all connected. And so that's gonna need, need, need to go to the uh, to ground. And then your white wire is gonna be your switch voltage, which if you look right here, you have all these the groups right here, the white and the yellow are grouped together. So this is number one. So that would be right here. So you're gonna have uh, one of those uh, wires is gonna control the solenoid inside the relay and the other one is going to um, the yellow one is going to actually be the uh, the one that goes to the component which is going to should be the 87 right here um, and then the 30 which should be the red is always going to have power to it you can see right there the 30 see the 30 circuit right there that red one that's jumped over from the fuse side so if you look at this from the bottom so you look right there the, the 30 is the one right there on the top which would be just like this. That's your circuit 30 right there. So that's how that's that's how that's how wired. So if you wanna pause it right here, that's what this looks like. That's gonna be the same basically, like I said, for any of these uh, relays that are standard Bosch style relays like that. So some of these fuses are actually for these relays right here as well. So you're gonna use the fuse circuit. So you can see right here, again, on this piece of paper, some of them will actually tell you there's, there's a fuse right there, and then there's a fuse, fuse, fuse. So it's got four fuses, for one, one for each of these relays, and you can actually tell which one is which because the red wire that goes to the, um, to the relay is actually jump, uh, jumpered from the fuse right there. So this is gonna be the second fuse in. So the second fuse in right here is gonna be for this relay, and it's probably gonna be similar for the other one. So you can see that one right there, that one right there. Some are actually next to each other, um, but, that's what, that's what it does. So looking at a wiring diagram, how you would do this is, uh, let's say you wanna use this one for the starter relay. So what you're going to do is you can see right here, here's the starter. There's your main power source right here. This is the one that I colored black that normally would go to the ceramic fuses right here. That's your main power, it's gonna be hot at all times. And so that's gonna be right here. That's gonna go right to that terminal. And I actually did this, I teed it off and I put some heat shrink on it right there, so that's not how it came. But that's gonna go to that, so it's gonna have hot all times. And then, we see right here, this black and red wire, the red and black right here, that would go right to the starter, the signal wire to the starter, that you would actually basically put it right here, 
in line with this. So when this has power at all times, these three right here have power at all times. So this one right, this red one right here, that goes to the ignition switch right here, the circuit 30 on the ignition switch right there, that's gonna have power at all times. And then when you turn the key, it's gonna send voltage to the starter solenoid. Okay, so what's gonna happen is you're gonna put this red and black wire that's gonna go to the white one. So instead of controlling the starter, you're technically controlling the relay. Then the relay controls the starter. That's why it's called a relay, relays. So the yellow one is gonna go to the starter. So it's gonna go to, it's gonna you'll go yellow to red, and then you're gonna go uh, red and black to the white. And then that's how you're gonna hook up your starter relay. And then basically the same thing for everything else. So you're gonna have the uh, fuel pump relay, you're going to do that. You're going to get the fuel pump and instead of connecting the fuel pump, because I have an electric fuel pump on this, it's, you're going to do the same thing. You're going to control the fuel pump with the same wires, the same way. All right. So I decided to mount it in the glove box. I took out the little, uh, vent opener chingus over there and I just stuck the harnesses through the side. So that's where I'm going to keep the, uh, that fuse box. Oh, and like I, I got the power hooked up right here. That's the main power wire. This is the new harness. And here's the ground. I have that connected right here to a ground. Right there. Got heat shrink around all the connections. So that's tits. And now, uh, one thing I want to recommend is always double checking your wiring. So that one that's going to the starter. And you can see all the way back here. There's that starter wire way down there. Right there, so it's going checking the, the resistance, make sure, verifying that is actually the starter wire. So, mind you, this is some pretty thin, pretty thin wire. This is a crappy little cheap AutoZone multimeter right there, but I do have good continuity between the front side, uh, the the starter wire right here, and the actual lead that goes in the back there to the actual starter wire. So always double check that because you don't want to send voltage down the wrong wire because then you're just going to melt stuff and light stuff on fire. Okay, so here we are. Now we have this one. Um, where is it right here? This one's the ground. So I got that hooked up. Then the black, and, uh, so this one right here, this one is going to the starter. This one is coming from the ignition switch. And this one right here is the main power to the ignition switch. So that has to be hot all the time. That's why it's connected to one of these blue ones. So that's just gonna get a regular fuse. So right now, right here, you can see this one right here, which is your circuit 30 to your ignition switch. That should have power all the time. That one is connected to that blue wire. And then this one right here is the big fat red wire that's going into the two. And then you have this connection right here that's going from the ignition switch to the starter wire. And that has power also. Well, the, there is a fuse uh, or relay in between here because I have that. So, yep. Okay, now we have the fuel pump hooked up. You can see the fuel pump wire, it's going down here. There's a uh, solid state fuel pump down underneath the, the gas tank. So this is going right here all the way over here to relay number two. You can see yellow right here is from relay number two. And then switched power, this one right here that I have not attached something else yet. This is actually coming switch power from the ignition switch, which is this black wire right here. It's for uh, some, some lights and everything else, but I'm using LEDs and uh, so I'm not gonna be using a lot of the uh, current from that. So, uh, or they're not gonna have a lot of current requirements on there. So I branched off right here and this will have a fuse also. So I branched off right here. So I'll still run this uh, for the lights normally for the vehicle. I'm just running that solid state fuel pump on there. So this is gonna, um, so th this right here, because I'm using a relay, this only actuates, I'm only adding on a relay to this circuit right here. So this uh, little bit, extra current for that, for that uh, solenoid inside the relay to close, and then it's gonna operate and function like normal whenever it's functioning. Okay, so I only have the fuel pump fuse in. So to verify that we have everything wired up properly, let's see if we can hear something when the key's turned on.
Hmm. All right, so one fuse didn't cut it. I went and threw, ahead and, uh, threw all the fuses in. Maybe this fuse assignment right here isn't exactly accurate, but I'm not sure. But listen to this. Yep, you can hear the fuel pump running. Fuel pumps work wired up properly. Uh, fuel pump turns on when nothing comes out of it. I did put a little bit of something in the gas tank and I stuck a hose back in the gas can so nothing's coming out. So I'm going to go ahead and order a new fuel pump for it and then um, we'll go and continue with that on another video. But that's basically how you wire up uh, one of those uh, auxiliary or aftermarket fuse panels slash relay boxes um, or something more modern like that uh, when you have something old. And just to go over it, it's uh, just like this right here. Yellow is uh, power to the, contr to the uh, component. Red is hot at all times. Black is ground. And white is switched voltage. And then blue on this one, it might be different. If you get one, uh, blue is, might be different. So blue is also hot at all times because those are just fused circuits. So you can use those for anything. Like you can run those to light switches and everything, which is what I'm going to do. So... Um, but that's it. It's pretty simple. Um, all you, you're basically running the uh, um, the voltage from the from the switch uh, instead of from the switch to the component. You're going basically going from the switch to the relay, and you're going from the relay to the component. So you're just adding in the relay. Pretty simple. So um, make sure you give me that thumbs up, hit subscribe, make sure you hit the notification icon so you get notifications when I post a new video. Thanks for watching.